this isn't too much of a spoiler alert, right? Like they saw, they see out, saw the slab already. Yeah. Oh. Do you have energy for a non-work related video? We have like 300 videos that we were gonna shoot one day. And I guess we just need to make time to shoot them. So I guess I can stop playing with my boy toys. Yeah. Long enough to shoot a non-work video. Truth be told, we're kind of shooting this real time, but we ended a pretty big task today and we have another pretty big task that we want to start. I won't tell you what it is because I know a lot of you guys like watching our videos in order. So we'll try to keep some of that stuff out of the picture, but in our experience starting big tasks late in the day, it's just, it's not a great idea because a number of things can go wrong and it's always good to just end on a good note. So that's why we thought we'd sh um, shoot just kind of a fun video for you guys. All right, what I are think, we gonna uh, talk about I think today? the topic today is clothing. I think clothing is something that important um, we get a lot of questions about and it's something that Jesse and I are both extremely passionate about because life is work Yeah. and for girls, I know clothing is just a really big part of who we are. <laughs> we went through a, a huge like transition. We, our closets, our wardrobe was really suited to what we did before. I don't Which feel like nothing. No, just well, no, like you worked in an office, so you had a yeah. lot of like nice, cute, Ish. you know, yeah. white clothes. And then we came out here and started doing this. Like yesterday, I was wet head to toe but I wasn't uncomfortable, but I was swimming in all this water. It was raining mm -hmm. and I was working away. Happy as could be my old clothes, heck no. So I think we just wanted to share some of the things that we figured out about finding and choosing workwear that fits, it works for you. It's not tacky, it's not mm -hmm. boxy. Is it lame if I <laughs> admit that we wrote down some bullet points on our phone? Not really, I don't know. I guess I don't want to ramble. Uh, that's important. It's also important that I'm pretty sure what little cell phone service we had, we destroyed exactly. when we See, built this. See, the complaining is starting. Like we think all of our troubles will be solved when we have a house and we just created more problems. <laughs> We're both gonna be over here by the garage door like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, that's what we do now, so. Oh, can you hear me now? Okay, great, that's fantastic. I'm gonna go inside, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, so what do we want to talk about? You sent me something. Hold on, I have to find yep. it. I think there's a mindset out there that if you're going to work and you're going to get dirty, you should wear the worst clothes that you own. We heard someone say, you should, what did, What was the advice? So you should buy shoes that you don't care about. Yeah, just go to Goodwill anyway. and buy $10 boots because they're going to get ruined anyways. And we couldn't disagree more. We actually spend more on work clothing than we do other clothes because guess what? We don't wear other clothes. We work nonstop. And life is too short to have pants that ride up on you, fall down all the time. Like, I don't even like, I want my pants to stay up without a belt. Your feet hurt because your shoes don't fit. Your feet are uncomfortable. Your hands are cold and clammy. You're cold. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So our first tip, this, okay, like hold, hold your horses. This one's crazy and mind blowing. Try things on. Go, like try stuff on in stores. I've wanted a vest like this for a really long time, but I can never find one that fits. They just don't fit. Part of it's because they're too long. Mm -hmm. The Carhartt has one that's like, I don't know, waist cut. I don't even know what they call it, but it yeah. kind of has like this taper, like around your hips, you know? Yep. So, you, so if you have swagger, you know? Yeah. Um, so a year, a full year ago, a year ago, we, yeah. um, I had a Carhartt jacket that I loved and then we thought we'd try on some other Carhartt stuff. Mm -hmm. So we actually took a trip mm -hmm. to Carhartt. a physical Carhartt store mm -hmm. where they had a bunch of stuff that they don't have locally. Well, what started that was we tried the Carhartt stuff on locally and I was able to find some stuff. Like I got some shirts, but I don't think I really got much else because it just didn't fit. Well, and there's such a, there's not a large selection for men and there's really no selection for women. But, but go try stuff on. That's what we did. And I think it helped us understand Carhartt and their sizing and their um, products it did. and stuff like I that. I would say it was an investment mm -hmm. in time and not in money, but in time mostly. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we bought anything that day. Uh, like, very hate to little. be those people, but we were able to try on lots of different sizes. Well, we got the sizes that we were looking um, for. We also got think... the styles we were looking mm -hmm. for. Yeah. So for pants for women, they have a slim version or a regular or original and a relaxed version. Yep. And I found that I only like one. I think maybe one of the takeaways from going to 
both local stores and then to other stores. I mean, we've been to more than one, but like the Carhartt store as an example, mm -hmm. we narrowed down sizing and fit and stuff like that, but maybe they didn't have the color that you wanted mm -hmm. or like there was, I think color was a huge one. And then the, the pants selection was just, just not there, especially for the girls. Yeah. felt like you and Anna really struggled to find stuff that fit. Yeah, even even their store, they didn't have everything in stock. Right, and they had stuff. And a lot online. So I think the biggest thing we've learned is don't settle. We used to be of the mindset that you had to buy what was available locally. Right. And that's not true. I mean, a lot of these stores, they do have just an entire product line online. If you find that your pants are just a little bit too short or they're not the color that you like, or you like this style, but they don't have it in your size, mm -hmm. don't buy what you can buy, hold off. Yeah, that was a huge takeaway for us. Like we've been basically doing the Goodwill thing before mm -hmm. that. And our we were going through clothes like every month, mm -hmm. one month maximum. So we moved into work clothes, but then we started to like struggle finding the color, the size, like pants, like butt cracks showing, pockets are in the wrong spot because we were buying what was available instead of focusing on getting something that we really liked. Just because you try on one pair of pants in a particular brand, it doesn't mean that whole brand is bad. There are lots of items that I don't like. <laughs> and then there are a few that I love. So I think a lot of things are that way is that rarely does an entire product line fit you. You have to find like the style and the size. And that's really big for Jesse too. Mm -hmm. Well, and every company has their own like way of doing sizing. Mm -hmm. So Carhartt, for example, has like their original or whatever it's yep. called. And it's really roomy and I did not like it at all. So I preferred more of like their slim cut, but then you start getting into like above the waist and below the waist and it gets really sophisticated. And I think the point of this whole point is that you want to find something that you really, really like. And then once you've got that figured out, it's a matter of basically reordering. What? Okay. I, I want to say what this video is not, it's not a sales pitch for a particular brand. We have a lot of experience with Carhartt yep. and recently, we have a lot of experience with Duluth Trading Company. Yeah, what was appealing about Duluth was, so let me back up. So Alyssa has shopped for clothes on the internet. I have not, I am not. A okay, shopper. let me back up even farther. I hate trying on clothes. <laughs> I think I speak almost on behalf of all men out there. So going clothes shopping is not fun to me. It's a huge waste of time, especially when I drive two hours and then I come mm -hmm. home empty handed. So shopping online was a new thing for me. And so Duluth was way we, there's no Duluth stores around here, um, but we wanted to try some different workwear to see if we could find some products that fit us better, or maybe did some things that the Carhartt stuff didn't do or whatever. And so we started shopping online and we kind of figured out a trick. Order more than one size and even more than one like fit the whole like that's kind of like a lot of work up front yep. but what ended up happening was we kind of figured out Duluth sizing mm -hmm. and it's pretty spot on I think it was really important that they have free returns yes that was very huge. and they send the label in the box so well, what I love is that it says tell us which items you're sending back yeah it wasn't like, like they expect you to and they like, welcome it mm -hmm. because they know that clothing is so particular to your body type um and especially if there isn't a store to try things on you're gonna be making yeah. returns well and i so. even have to say that even like in the same product the same size everything every once in a while you'll get one that fits just a little different i don't know why yep so you just send but, it back like it doesn't yep. fit it's the same color size shape product like everything's the same so i think that my mind has been open to shopping online i don't really enjoy it still but I, I'm trying to achieve my goal. And I think for mm -hmm. Alyssa, it's opened up huge doors because the amount of work we're available for women on the internet is exponential yep. compared with the few pairs of Wranglers or Miss Me jeans or whatever is available yeah. in the local store. I think from a women's perspective, I thought that I had to be fashionable or function. Functional. 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 And that there was absolutely no bridge. And I guess I'm showing some vulnerability here, but I am not willing to let go the fact that I can't look like a woman anymore. Not that who you are is defined by what you look like, but you know what I'm saying. I want my work clothes to still be feminine, if that makes sense. And that's something where I feel Duluth has done a really good job shining is that their clothes, I love them. So when I first looked at their product line, I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I wanted it to fit so badly because they do have a lot of things for women like leggings and tunics and all that other fun stuff, um, except they build it for work. So I think their kind of motto is um, you never know when or where you're going to have to work. So I always say when we're going out to dinner, 
there's a 20% chance we're going to do something dirty. Yeah. So I still feel like I can dress up or wear a nice pair of jeans, but if I have to help Jesse change a tire or fix tail lights, I don't know. Like it's okay to crawl around on the ground. And that's where I feel I've I've tried to just change my wardrobe completely so that I'm always ready for anything. And I don't have my nice clothes, my in-between clothes, my my city boots, my work boots. It's like one outfit. I felt like uh when we went clothes shopping for you specifically, I would just say that most women's workwear, first of all, you have to look at the tag to make sure it's for women because you can't tell yep. by looking at it. So there's that. But I would say they're, they look more like modified men's clothes. Like they're men's clothes. They're just cut maybe slightly different. They're a little less boxy. Maybe they've got a lower collar. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I felt like Duluth, your clothes don't look anything like my clothes. There's no chance no, I'm going to put it's your just, shirt on. It's very subtle <laughs> yeah. differences, even yeah. not so subtle differences. Like this yep. has like a V neck. It fits well. It's gusseted in the back. Yep. I feel like I'm happy wearing it. Yeah. Even Anna mentioned, so we got some stuff for, from Duluth for Anna, part of our way of saying thank you for all of her help. Mm -hmm. And she's doing arborist stuff right now and she loves and Anna's her clothes. Hard to she's, please. Well, and she's hard on clothes. <laughs> yeah. You know, she was doing uh, agricultural stuff and now she's working with a tree company. And I mean, she's brutal yep. and she loves this workwear because it's for women. She's so accustomed to having to shop the men's workwear to find stuff that's strong enough to do the I've, work that she's I've doing. I've had to do so. that with gloves. I've yeah. flirted with the men's department for boots yeah. because all this stuff, it's extremely challenging for women specifically because yeah. most stores, like to be honest, women aren't buying the clothes for the most part. So it is very men heavy, which yeah. really means you're dependent on online shopping to find this stuff. It is out there. You have to do research. Wow. Look at the sky today. Am I yeah, getting distracted? It's so pretty. I think that whenever people build a house, they should always build a house wherever there's a view. Because if you're ever kind of stressed out or you're up against a mm, roadblock or something, true. like I've been staring at that mountain all day, just watching the weather change. Like for a little while it was snowing up there and then it was mm -hmm. sunny and now it's kind of just partly cloudy. I think that <laughs> maybe one of the most resounding just things we could say, which this video kind of comes across I don't know, juvenile, not juvenile, but like amateur, but it is like we are amateurs. Th these clothes are as much a tool as our hammer drill or our sawmill or air compressors. If you're not comfortable, I mean, especially Alyssa, like she's a little more sensitive to temperature and stuff like mm -hmm. that than I am. No work's going to get done. You know, I was really proud of you yesterday. It was pouring cats and dogs and you were out here working right alongside yeah. me. So that says a lot about your clothing. What are those hieroglyphics behind you? That's your math. <laughs> That's Jesse's math the class. The math that stresses me out because I don't do math like that. I do math <laughs> on paper. Yep. <laughs> Fact. With a mechanical pencil <laughs> right. and like a pristine eraser. I think it's our hope that this video sparks good conversation. I think it'd be really beneficial to everyone else watching this video. If you have a really great experience with the company, leave it in the comments. Let us know what it is. If it's a particular model of pants you like, yeah. shoes, gloves, pants, jackets, hats. Of course, we'd really rather it be things that you wear, not just things that are passed on. We feel like if somebody told us this two years ago, we probably would have worn our city clothes a little less and enjoyed work a little bit more. Yeah. And I think maybe just one last comment too. I think just, it's worth mentioning that our workwear is about to change. Like I'm wearing very a, much what, so. work yeah. well, a week ago, we were wearing shorts and sun shirts and sun hats and I haven't worn any of that. I switched mm -hmm. clothes immediately. So these pants that I'm wearing, mm -hmm. they're way too hot for summer. They're a thicker material. They're the fire hose material nice. and they're black, yeah, but I'm really happy happen. that it's fall now and pretty mm -hmm. soon I'm going to bust out um, my fleece lined pants. Mm. So I think that's another thing too, is that one outfit is not good for four seasons no where way. we are. In all honesty, we have like an outfit per season. Yeah. So maybe we'll do a video down the road when we get more into like the cold weather, maybe kind of share some of the cold weather mm -hmm. tips. Like I know a vest was kind of a new thing for you, keeping your core warm versus keeping your arms warm. I'm, I'm trying it. I'm best curious. Skeptical. <laughs> she would really rather just wear a sleeping bag everywhere she goes. I totally wear a Snuggie. I just That's... can't work in it. <laughs> So I don't know, hopefully, hopefully you guys find that useful. Yeah, it's an investment. I'm not never, not going to say to anybody that workwear is cheap. Cheap workwear does not exist. But in all honesty, you'll pay 300 bucks for a tool, but you won't pay 70 bucks for a pair of pants. Like that's nothing. If you wear it every single day, I think these pants are 70 bucks, but I wear them so much that 
it doesn't yeah. matter. Our mindset has changed about a lot of these things. We're no, I haven't been to Goodwill in a yep. very long time. And, and I don't plan on going back. They do last longer. I'm not saying yep. even, that even these pants are completely indestructible, but they do last a very long time. The only thing that's destroyed my car hearts is battery acid. Touche. That's fair. Okay. I think the talk, talkity talk is over. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty motivated to get back to work. It's yep. been a highly productive day. We dodged the uh, radiant roulette. Well, that'll be coming up so, in a future video. Yeah, and I really want to get some stuff done before it gets dark, because tomorrow I want to start working on the big platform. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Can oh. I share something? Okay. You know how our clothing is just like laden with pockets? Mm -hmm. I found another one, a place where you'd never expect it. Ready? What the It's heck? a secret pocket. Isn't that cool? I don't know. I, I'm trying to come up with things I could put in there. I don't know. These girl clothes have like <laughs> pocket pockets. They're like a pocket for your pocket. But like most girl pants, they have faux pockets. You put yeah. them in and like neat. It's like your hmm. fingertips going neat. Here's how most girls are. Here, can you hold my phone? Exactly. Can you I have you hold can my you phone. Can you hold my chapstick? Yep. Can you hold my driver's license? Yep.